gamers, it's Maggie Bot, and today we are going to talk about a game I did not give a fair shake to about ooh, six years ago, five years ago, <laughs> when it was in print the first time. I set this game out on a table, and me and my coworker tried to read the rules, play it, and learn it while we helped customers in the game shop. Let me tell you the number of times that, that maybe didn't give me the best idea of how the game played. That is many. <laughs> so. It's my responsibility now to go back and replay play a couple of those. This one had been talked up for days. It had been like, the best two players have come out in a while. You should totally try this. You love the art. I played it and I was like, wow, that's long and weird and I didn't care for it. Well, Twelve came back into shops recently and I just can't resist. Um, so I played it again. The first time I played it, we read the rule book and just kind of played it out and these are two of my chattier friends, so it took a pretty good long while, two and a half hours for our first game, but it was still pretty fun and mean and silly. Um, players work to build up three different buildings and um, you put your pieces on to control dice and you try and clear out these events that kind of hit you every round. Wherever you are at the end of the round, that tells you which dice you're gonna control. You roll them and you put them in your district. On your turn, you can either take any number of your own dice of the same color, or you can buy dice from other players and use their dice. Really interesting mean little mechanics and you're going to be pushing people out of the way for those dice and kind of trying to take them over as you go, but then you get fewer income the more dice you get and it's just a really interesting balance. There's one other big important rule in that everyone is given a secret objective for the end of the game but all of the secret objectives score for all players. And they're all known and there's only like six of them. So as you see someone like building the cathedral a lot, you have to kind of assume, hey, maybe that will score and I should probably chase them. So there's a little bit of bluffing and a little bit of deduction there, not a ton or anything, but just enough to give it a little spice. Interesting, really fun. And then I played a two player game of it online with my friend Nicholas, um, Yucata I believe has it. And you know what? That game was 40 minutes long. It's short as heck and really fun, strategic, really, really cool. They also reprinted the expansion. The expansion is called the Ladies of Trois, and there are five little modules inside it. Each of the modules is basically another chunk of cards for each of the base game that you would just replace or shuffle in with the expansion. And then the much lauded expansion for this one are the pink dice, or purple, purpley pink. They're a lovely tone of dice that each player gets one and you roll it and no one can buy it from you. And it, it is a wild color, so you can use it by itself or with other dice as any color. It's super handy to have just a little bit more planning, a little bit more that can't be taken from you. Um, I also heard from my friend Jake that if I'm careful, I can fit the whole game, including the expansion and the expansion box. So the shelf space is not super extreme, which I always like. It's about the size of a pandemic or tragedy looper box from Z-Man. Um, I'm really excited to have given this one another shot. Uh, so if you do see it, it kind of went out of print fast after this last reprint, but I'm hoping they will do another printing very, very soon. But if you do see it, pick it up, especially the expansion, just do the whole thing. It's not super expensive or anything. Like I think altogether, like at retail was like 80 bucks or something. I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> if you would like, I would also love to get some games of this online. So you can hit me up here on YouTube or on Facebook or Twitter. It's at MaggieBot, Board Game Geek, but I don't check my geek mail as often as I should. And that's at MaggieBot as well. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel here. Follow me on Twitter if you like. I talk in sprees there. I apologize right now. There's also lots of gifts. Um, and if you haven't already seen, I also fund my channel, equipment, board games, kickstarters, all through Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash MaggieBot. And that has been super helpful to allow me to relieve spending all of my <laughs> money on just buying board games, and now I get to go to a little bit more conventions. Upcoming, I have my first Origins in Columbus, Ohio, and Gen Con in Indianapolis. Um, if you're gonna be there, hit me up, and we should meet, or play a game, or do something, or cheers, or high five, or something. Um, also, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about uh, 
Origins. I haven't been before. I've got the lay of the land, I think, and I will be doing some sort of charity event with my friend JR. More info on that to come. Uh, thank you all, and I love you. Bye!